Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the anti adjacent swaps. Okay, so in this problem, we are given an array A of n elements. In one operation, we can swap any, any two elements if they are not adjacent. Okay, so and uh, what we can do, we can pick any two indices i and j such that i should be less than or equal to less than j and j minus i should be greater than 1 that means like j should be greater than i that is the case and then we can swap a i comma a j right and we can do this operation as many times as we want and we need to tell that we can convert this a array into sorted array or not that is the case so let's see Let's see two examples what we can do. Okay. So let's suppose we have three comma five in the first case. So this is already sorted, right? Yeah. This one is smaller than this. So it is already sorted. That means our answer will be yes for sure. There is no other choice. So let's see a different case. We have 5 comma 3. 5 comma 3. Can we sort it? Can we? No, it's not possible because we can't swap adjacent element. And we have only two elements. That means we can't swap. So that is a problem here. That's why answer is no here. Let's see a third example. So in third example, we have 6, 6, 2. Let's suppose we can't swap this, 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 but we can swap this one. So 2, 6, 6. That means we can, we can convert it into a sorted array. That means our answer will be yes. Okay. So let's see different case where we can't. Okay. So let's suppose you have 5 and here you have two here you have one can we make it sort can we no we can swap only these two this is the only condition we can swap this so it can become one five two and again swap and two five one that means we can't sort it we can't sort it that means answer will be no here but we need to derive the conditions Okay, so let's say you have uh, 1, then 2, and uh, 3. Can we sort it? No, obviously no. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. This is not a sorted. And we can't do swapping between this and this. And what I feel, we can sort any array. We can sort any array that is greater than 4. Sorry, size is greater than equal to 4. We can sort. Because we have a variety of options to do that. That is the reason behind that. So let's suppose we have 1, 2, uh, 4 and 3. Can we sort this? Let's try to sort this array. I don't know if we can or we can't. But my guess is we can. Somehow there will be some method to do that so if we swap this 3 and 1 no 3 and 1 let it be swap like this 1 3 4 2 can we swap this one yes 4 3 1 2 can we again do swapping between this so we need not to do this so let it we make it 1 mm, that is sorry 4 2 1 3 this is the one 
can we do something else so we can swap we can swap this one four and three so we have three then two one and four now we can swap this one two three four that means we can sort and we can sort this one and i believe we can sort any array any array that has greater than equal to four length i believe this and what is the condition so for n equal to three that is a difficult case why difficult because we have two possibilities yes and no both can be the answer where it will be yes and where it will be no that we need to figure out so if you see the example six one five so if this element is smaller than both the element both the adjacent element that means we can't do anything and similarly if this element five Two, three. If this element is greater than both the element, then also we can't do anything. If it is in the middle, then we can do. Obviously, we can do. Like suppose we have three, two, one. Then we can obviously do one, two, three because it is in the middle. But if that is the case, like if it, if it is the minimum or if it is the maximum, the first element, then obviously we can't do that. That is the problem. So in that case, our answer will be no. Otherwise, it will be yes. So let's quickly discuss the code. So we have a simple case, like if n equal to one, obviously answer will be yes. If n equal to two, then we need to check this. If that is the case, then answer will be yes. Otherwise, it will be no. For sure. And if n equal to three, then what we need to do? We need to do. We need to check if v one is less than v two comma v zero, or if it is greater than v two comma v zero. That means the first and last element. If it is greater than both or smaller than both, then our answer will be no. Otherwise, our answer will be yes. And else, any case, our answer will be yes. If n is greater than three, then answer will be yes. At any case, so you can just think about think in this direction and solve the question. Hope you understood the solution. Like this video, subscribe the channel. Thank you and keep coding.